facilitating and resolving the issues. Uh, they also appreciated Telecoms Giant Globalcom for their support and sponsorship of the league, just as they thanked other stakeholders for their understanding and general support to develop the league. All right, long, long um, communique issued at the end of the meeting. Well, maybe in line. It uh, should be as long as this uh, because the issues that they wanted to sort out were uh, very germane, germane issues. And of course, once again, signed by Barista Danladi, Acting Chairman of Club Owners, Honorable Mundo Karabo, Chairman League Management Committee, um, Barista Musa Amadu, General Secretary NFF, Malam Che Udiko, Member LMC, Alo Ejuku Emeka, Acting Secretary Club Owners. So, gentlemen, very quickly, um, for me, this is not. Um, no victor, no, no victory. victor, no bangui. That's what I've been. That's what I've been waiting for. It's a, a vic, no victor, no bangui situation mm -hmm. for me. The winner is the Nigerian Premier League. God bless you. Simple as that. Yeah. Wunde, you are not looking like you are convinced. For me, all I'm just uh, thinking about is why did we have to go the long route? We feel started with this. This is this is the first yeah. thing that That's should right. have been done. Yes. Both parties uh, meeting, I agree. discussing how this league should have been, can, can move forward. Why did we have to take the long, laborious, torturous, acrimonious route to where we are now? No, Tunde, the fact is that we are somewhere now. Whether it was supposed to be the start point or the end point. Look, all the energies that have been expended in this is good. If the NFF had or the NFL had expended the same energies in resolving how to go about giving us a defeating FA Cup, Trust me, with it, there wouldn't no, have been any don't problem. Don't talk about FA Cup. Now. We are talking about LMC. It is still part of, it is still part of the. Uh, where the uh, uh, oh yeah, I'm sure you agree with me. Yeah. It's good. It's it, sometimes crisis brings out. When, when, when you. Makes you know your rights. When there is a new body, like the LMC, such issues are bound to come up because they will come with the ideas. Some external uh, forces will also come and say, let us do it this way, let us do it that way. You know, they want to have their way. But now. You know, they have to, you know, shift grounds a bit. You have to reach a compromise. And that's what they have done. Mm. You know, so for me, let's, yeah, let's, let's move on. Let's yeah, move on. You, 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 have to yeah, move you on. could agree with me that mm. maybe we should have started with absolutely, this. But absolutely. But we didn't start with it. Mm. We made a mistake. Mm. But the good thing is that at least something has been done. And the and clubs are all, all signatories to this uh, communicate. I mean, you could see the club on so the So at variance with uh, what we saw uh, this week uh, when the, uh, the check mm. for the sponsorship was presented. No, no members club, of the club. representation. Everybody was involved. All right. Football on the pitch. Confusion. Today, we are supposed to have Wiki Torres against Rangers. Week 10 of the Nigerian Premier League. Rangers didn't show up. And uh, there are reports that they were walked over by Wiki Torres or Balchi. So there's confusion. Is this a case of a walkover? Or is this game going to be played at some other time? Because Rangers said they wrote to the Nigerian Professional Football League asking that the game be moved. Get my point. Rangers requested for the game to be moved. They didn't get a correspondence that the game has been moved. So, at, at what point did they write to the Nigerian Professional Football League? You see, okay. they, they, all the matches, all the, uh, the, the, for that weekend, all the matches were moved mm. because of continental teams. And they've been, that has been the practice since this LMC came on board. Actually, they were the only person on that, the continent. Uh, absolutely. Uh, then it was the clubs that even requested, the, the clubs on the continent before the others crashed out, mm. that um, they, 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 they should move all the fixtures. And they agreed. So, I, for me, I don't think Rangers have, you know, con case. cogent reasons not to honor this match. Uh, uh, Today is Friday. They came in on Tuesday. On Tuesday. They can fly they to, they can fly to fly Josh. Yes, they can fly to Josh. Fly? They can fly to Josh. Uh, 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 they can uh, fly to Josh. They can fly to Josh. But yeah. I'm wondering yeah. how many Nigerian clubs, Nigerian clubs don't fly. Can afford well, they travel by road. Mm. They but, came back from Angola. But there is a different budget for continental assignment. Mm. They can... They, they, no, but they, they continentally can, they, they fly. Locally they travel by road. No, when, when Rangers... When, anytime they play continental football, I, 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 the you only information... They, they, they fly from Enugu to Lagos. I don't know whether that, that has changed. That's what when they do. When they want to go for engagement. continental engagement. Yeah, they can, they can they also route the, the return... I mean, the local um, uh, flight. Okay, when they were coming from Angola. They, 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 they can... This is where things... The little I know. They came back from Angola on Tuesday. It was too late in the day to catch a flight to Enugu at that time. Yes. They had to wait till Wednesday, Wednesday to catch a flight to Enugu. You don't need to go back to Enugu. The match they are supposed to play against... Okay, so you are saying that Bauchi. once on their way back from Angola, they should have... Once they got to Lagos, they should have... Or routed their flight to Abuja. Abuja, and, Abuja. and then from Abuja go to play... Even if it was late on Tuesday, they can fly uh, on Wednesday to either Abuja or... And just then from Abuja travel to Bauchi. Match. 
This is what is obtainable I elsewhere. It, I leave it. Yeah, but but they, but yeah. There will have been too much travel for this team from Angola to Nigeria, mm. to Nigeria from Nigeria taking another play. whether plane or by road. Play today. Today and then play. I mean, play but today. this was the agreement play. they reached with the NPSL. I agree. Play today. Play on Monday. Play on Thursday. To you. Have a concentrated game on Sunday. To you. That's to you. too much. The, the, the higher you move, the the hotter it becomes. The, the hotter it becomes. You, when you, when you, you are playing, you know, when you are playing, when you are playing on the continent, mm. you need a base squad. Maybe maybe they should tutor uh, Rangers. You should go to some of the teams that have played in the, on the continent. Mm. When you, yes, when you are when you are on the continent, you need a big squad. Mm. You need at least two quality players on okay. every Top position, position and some some backup. So mm. that you play the continental uh, game, if if we, if we if we present the set, the set with this, then any other team can come up and say they won't play. Okay, okay. let's let's that. look at week eleven fixtures. Mm. Matches will be played this weekend. We have Sunshine against ABS that will be taking place in Akure. Shafts of Potakot will be hosting 3SC in Potakot. Um, Atland against Aqua United. Rangers on Sunday will be taken on by SI United. At least that one will be played, we are sure. Um, then Nasarawa United will welcome Wiki Torres of Bochi to uh, Lafia. Lafia. That's where the game will be played. Enyimba will be hosting Kano Pilas. That's a big, big game this weekend. Nembe against Lobi. Um, also in uh, um, Yenegoa, Wari was to be hosting Dolphins. That's the South South Derby in Wari. Kaduna United against Gombe in Kaduna, and Kwara United will be hosting El Kanemi Warriors of Medugri. That's uh, this weekend, week 11 of the Nigeria Professional Football League matches to be played uh, this weekend. Let's step down and uh, talk about uh, the Nigeria National League. There were games played yesterday. Uh, week 19 in Division A we had Zampara beating Ranchers 2-1. In Division B we had Prime beating Insurance of Benin 3 names. Insurance are in real big trouble. Uh, lack of motivation, lack of funds, and all of that. And uh, it's a pity. Insurance are not supposed to be here, but that is where they have found uh, uh, themselves. And then this weekend we were playing with 20 in Division A of the National League. We have Jigawa against Tip. We have Ranchers against Mighty Jets. Uh, we have uh, Jude against uh, Taraba, and then we have Plateau United against uh, Adamawa. Some of the fixtures from Division A uh, is what you are reading on your screen. Sokoto against Spotlight, FC Abuja against Tornadoes. Tornadoes are second on the log now. They've moved up, really moved up, uh, and Matijas are also doing well. DSS against Giwa of, um, of uh, Joss, Kogi against Zampara United. That completes. Uh, fixtures for Division A. In Division B, APA against MFM, uh, Aqua Starlets against Gateway, Raymond Stars, who are, I think, second on the log in Division B against Prime, Abia Warriors against Rising, and uh, are some of the fixtures. Gabros against Fountain, COD United, uh, they came on the show yesterday. They have hospitality suites, uh, so you can watch the game. And half time, you go and enjoy yourself. I mean, professionally, that's how it's done everywhere. So let's see. I'm, I will try to be at this game and see what uh, they offer. And then we have insurance against um, UNIC. 